Okay, uh, for uh, what regards the Block Explorer upgrade, last week we finished the, all the support activities uh, from the engineering point of view. And so uh, from our point of view, this is uh, uh, completed. Now they are proceeding with the remaining uh, uh, tasks uh, uh, for what, let me say, the, on the product side uh, for uh, uh, finishing the implementation. Um, speaking about Zendu, one other thing on which uh, we are providing support is the document with the technical specifications for our partners in order to have them upgrade uh, their integration with us. In particular, we are preparing different guides to, the ta to target the different stakeholders, such as uh, mining pool, exchanges, and so on, uh, with the goal to share such guides with them in the next few days. Then, uh, let me say, proceeding with the ZK audit chain, uh, we have completed the final debugging of the circuit, optimized the, the number of constraints, and we are currently addressing the last remaining items in order to finalize the implementation for the current milestone on the Rust side. In the next few days, we will also start working on the circuit implementation for uh, the next and last milestone. So, good progress also on this. Um, on the SDK side, um, we are currently performing the last remaining file and code reviews in order to be able to finalize this, the SDK release soon. And then for what regards the next, next delivery, always on the SDK, uh, we are currently completing uh, the design of the big Merkle tree. So, uh, I mean, um, this uh, component is needed for uh, handling uh, the, let me say, the, the uh, the UTIC source on the sidechain side, and so uh, it sh it should be a, a Merkle tree able to um, manage a, a huge amount of leaves, and and so uh, it's very important uh, uh, from uh, the performance standpoint uh, uh, the implementation of it, and so we we went through uh, some options, uh, also considering that this big Merkle tree obviously must be stored. And uh, um, we had a first uh, design analysis, and uh, uh, we understood that we can uh, uh, even extend uh, that design uh, to even better manage uh, the block processing on the SDK side, and to have a let me say an, an atomic transaction that is able to uh, commit all at once all the changes that are uh, let me say given uh, or um, caused by a block. And so um, we decided to, uh, before, let me say, uh, finalizing the design and the changes to the design, we decided to have some uh, additional performance check. Uh, and so to do some uh, additional benchmark to decide between two options that we, we uh, analyzed. And so this is something that uh, we are working on in these days. And in this week, we. Um, we think that we will have the answers to be able to 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 have the, the uh, final answer. So, uh, moving on for uh, the next delivery on the on the proving system side, we completed the implementation of the endomorphism. I mean the endomorph gadget, and we will perform the first round of review in the next few days. Uh, we also completed the second round of review for the polycommit refactoring task. Uh, and uh, uh, a few other changes were requested, and those are already being addressed. And this is one of the first uh, tasks that uh, uh, the, the new Luca is working on right now. Um, always uh, on the proving system side, uh, we're working on a, a refactoring and improvement of the constraint system by importing the relevant artworks implementation. Also, this one is uh, one of the new tasks for Luca. Okay, finally, in the last few days, we were also able to publish, uh, to publish an updated version of the Darling paper uh, that includes a more detailed explanation of how our performance measurements were obtained and a separate chap chapter on segmentation. That was, let me say, also part of a discussion on, on Twitter and we uh, identified that probably there was the need to uh, better clarify uh, what we meant uh, for segmentation. So we updated the paper and Orish did a great job. 